Do you know that I used to skate? Oh really? Yep. Went down the park with my brand new board, stood at the top of the half pipe for half an hour, got intimidated by the older boys, really hurt myself, and I never picked up the board again. I see. So I feel kind of a unique instant connection to all this mayhem. And of course you feel a connection to it, but that has nothing to do with you failing to skateboard for half an hour. It's because this documentary isn't really about skating at all. That's true. It's got a lot going for it as a narrative. It's a rise and fall story about two brothers who've come from nothing. They make it to the top and then come crashing back down in a spectacular fashion. Yeah, which is exactly like my skateboarding experience. The documentary is really well put together. They've taken hours and hours of archival footage and stitched it together to make a really well-flowing narrative. Well, the editor, Chris King, also worked on Exit Through the Gift Shop, which, if true, also stitched together reams and reams of archival footage. To say the filmmakers can make a coherent narrative out of this sort of material is an understatement. This is a really well told story. Tonal shifts in the lives of the brothers are so well documented and so well edited together that you kind of feel that you go on this up and down journey with them. It's a really extraordinary feat for a non-fiction filmmaker. But it's not just about the filmmaking or the editing, although I agree they're good. This is a story that's itching to be told. It's a hilarious comedy, a bitter tragedy, an extraordinary, honest, real-life story that's worthy of the big screen. Honest? Honesty and truth are rarely in cinema's arsenal. Well, Tuss Puppers really opens up about his life. He reviews his mistakes with good humour and a bittersweet regret, and it helps that Eddie Martin was involved, who grew up with the Puppers brothers. His personal relationship to the subject definitely adds to the openness. I'm just saying that it makes sense that Vice Films is involved in the financing of this picture. They've kind of really championed this style of creative non-fiction in their own publications, and that's the style that all this mayhem really adopts. It's really well put together and an absolute joy to watch, but you've got to question its veracity. Well, how do you mean? Well, it's like Tuss Papa says at the start of the film, there's three sides to every story, your side, my side and the truth. And Tuss Pappas really takes on this kind of unreliable narrator role in it. And you've got to wonder if there's an agenda. Well, that's hardly a criticism. Assuming it is only one side of the story, it's still a great story. It's got enough balance of truth with enough creativity that makes all this mayhem a really intriguing, heartbreaking human story that's driven by Tuss Pappas' charisma. Yeah, you're not wrong. It did really make me want to take up skateboarding again. You definitely shouldn't. No, no, no. Forget it, forget it, forget it. Mike, it doesn't look high, but it's actually really high up there. It's just crazy.